The image of human teeth marks on both sides of a battered woman's bruised and swollen nose and the sound of long, low, piercing moans of pain emanating from a pet carrier are just as clear today as they were on May 18, 2011. When I peeked inside the carrier, I saw two small cats huddled together and cowering in the back. As I stood and stared at her quivering, battered body, I wondered how it felt looking into her eyes and punching her in the face. Neither leg was attached to the pelvis. Instead, they dangled from her body like the limbs of a limp marionette. In my head, I could hear her bones snap, first one, then the other. For months, this tiny, living, breathing being had endured repetitive torture and excruciating pain that I could only appreciate on films. Today, she walks with a stilted gait and has to rest between every six to eight steps. Today, she lives in chronic pain from being repeatedly tortured, battered, and broken. But today, she's safe in love. Today, she has a name.